is happening? Welcome back to The Pass Alive. Thank you all for tuning in. And tonight, I have a very special video for you because we are heading back to the year 1989 and swashbuckling our way through a dozen different Upper Deck packs from their debut year in search of a very iconic rookie card that, as a kid, I could only dream about owning. And one of the first rookie cards that I bought when I got back into the hobby 10 or so years ago was card number one of this set. A very beloved and desired card in baseball card collecting, the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. And to this day, they still command a pretty high or hefty price tag, raw. And probably in this condition, you're looking at about 50 bucks. PSA 10s are around $2,000, but are very, very hard to come by because a big reason, because of this little hologram right there. And you see that one is off-centered. The top of the diamond is kind of ripped off. It's very common with a lot of these. But that is a big factor in affecting high grades of this card and the rest of the cards of this set. But tonight, we are looking for this card yet again to pack pull it. I have only pack pulled it once in my life. And this video comes about based off of a riddle that was sent to me this past week that you may have seen in the Mailbag Monday series. Sent in, put in, put together and sent in by uh, a guy by the name of 444. He put together his riddle and said... Whoever can solve this, I will gift to you a dozen 89 over deck packs. I believe these are high series. It's very hard to tell between high and low. It doesn't actually specify on the pack wrapper, at least as far as I know it doesn't. But Mikey G, a name that you may be familiar with on this channel, solved this riddle in probably about two hours or less. He solved it without using an AI generator or anything else. So congrats to Mikey G. And Mikey G was kind enough to... Say, hey, you want to open those packs on video and send them to me? And I said, absolutely I do. I will never turn down the opportunity to open a United deck. So that being said, let us get down to it. So high number obviously equals more cards that are going to be seated in the packs. Because you now have the high number series in here. So a little more difficult to pull the Griffey. But we're also looking for... Other Hall of Famers and rookie cards in here like Gary Sheffield and uh, Craig Biggio, Randy Johnson, John Smoltz, to, to name a few of them. So stars and Hall of Famers. John Moses. And then some of you guys may remember, but I opened a case of Yak Packs years ago. And I feel like this John Moses was like in every single pack, which is pretty normal for Yak Packs. Our beloved Raleigh Fingers. There's Van Slyke, Willie, Willie Randolph, Bob Melvin. And as a kid, I've said it many times, but I used to really not like these tiny holograms. I was kind of much more tolerant of the bigger ones that came um, in following years. 1990, I believe that they were like the square, and then in 91, they went to the actual full-size cards. That's Jack Morris. So we got a few big names in here. Ozzy Smith portrait card. We had a Molitor earlier in the pack. Bly Levin. Bunch of Hall of Famers inside of here. Cal Ripken Jr. and the dorky antics of Ken Phelps. So not off to a bad start for pack number one. Looks like we may have ourselves a star rookie here. It's going to be card number three, Tony Chance. Probably a card that I would have put in a top loader back then. But speaking of cards that would have been in the top loaders back then, Todd Zeal rookie card, Mean Mugging. That would have been a big hit to pull from this pack. Jeffrey Leonard, we have the Gibson World Series card. A couple more of those holograms that usually ended up falling into vents and stuff like that in my house. Or maybe I put them in the vents. <laughs> Dickie Thon giving Ken Phelps a run for his money now. Kind of like a Kramer-like hairdo. Mike Devereaux, Jody Davis. And there's Tony Chance rookie card, which I probably at one point in time thought that was going to be like a big card. Hence where the screw down comes into play. Another star rookie here. It's going to be card number four now, really dancing around the Griffey. Kevin Seitzer running for his life. Jeff Bittiger, so Je Jim Abbott is a rookie card. This is a very hot card back in the late 80s, early 90s. It is part of the high series, number 755. Still definitely a good one to pull, and uh, I love those motion cards. I thought those were so awesome. 
back uh, in the early 90s. A Griffey 92 upper deck was a favorite card of mine there for a long time. It's Bobby Bo, but Jim Abbott, the first good rookie, shows up. Let's see if we can find some other ones. Otis Nixon. Chris Sabo, of course, is going to show up. Jeff Bittiger, two times in one pack. Paul L., what is going on with that? We all know about Jeff Bittiger's creepy 89 tops card. I'm not going to pull that one out now, but if you know, you know. Brian Fisher, Obi McDowell, and Dave Otto is the next star rookie. Robbing us of a Griffey. But all cards are going to Mikey G's. Mikey G, these are his cards. So now card number seven, David West, rookie card shows up. That would have been a nice, a pretty decent hit back then as well. David Cohn, Montgomery, Tony Phillips once again. So we have another Kirk Gibson in here. This is why I did not like those. I guess that's probably why you immediately take them and put them on your Trapper Keeper so they wouldn't be falling into the vents in your house. And did West rookie card. Which I always liked David West. He passed away, I believe, not too long ago, unfortunately. The next star rookie. Can I be a Griffey? Oh, look at that. It is. We got the Griffey. How awesome is that? To pack pull that from only a dozen high number packs. And I've only opened a few so far. Mikey G, congrats. You got yourself a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. The second time in my life I've ever pack pulled that. And you see immediately the hologram in the back is off center. And the, the top of the diamond is a little muffed up. But how freaking amazing is that? Open a few packs and there is one of the most iconic rookies. Uh, definitely from the Junk Wax era. But um, I feel like everyone knows this card. So freaking awesome. Been a long time since I have pulled that. It's been years. I opened a box of low series I forget when. It was probably 2019. And uh, I guess we'll see who else is in the pack who the precursor was. I guess it was Julio Franco. Walt Weiss. I, I cannot believe Griffey shows up. That's so freaking awesome. Tim Cruz. Cecilio looks absolutely furious. I don't have the same reaction pulling his card as compared to the Griffey. Eddie Murray. Kevin Brown. Ken Williams to end that pack. Freaking amazing. Let's see if we have uh, some more luck. That would be nuts to pull more than one from just a stack of 12. Keith Miller looking rather sassy in that uh, photo. Lansford, there's also some error cards in here too. Pat Sheridan's got an error card where the position is like scratched off. It's a cool one. Sheffield, obviously, the SS being upside down. That's Conseco. And Donnie Baseball shows up. Melito Perez for Jonathan H. I'm going to put that aside. That one is going to be put in a screw-down case and going directly to Jonathan H.'s PC. And by PC, I mean a guarded safe in the middle of nowhere. That's where you'll find the world's biggest stash of Melito Perez. Although he will deny it to the nail. Bransky, Mike Pagliarulo shows up. Is that Dickie Thawne again? <laughs> Card is very creepy. Are you ready? If I didn't pull that Griffey, I'd probably be pissed off. I've seen that Dickie Thawne twice. Lance McCullough is throwing a haymaker. Dennis Lamp, Vince Coleman, McDowell, Moyer, Eddie Williams, and Brooke Jacoby ends that pack. Five left. Oh, that would have been crazy to see another Griffey. We have another rookie, though. We find is Louis Medina, Bill Pakota, Lilliquist, Jeff Reed. That is prior to him having that coronary. Stan Javier, Hernandez, Trevino, Sean Hillegas, there's Oral Hershiser, Ojeda, Armstrong, Big Mac for Corey, Cangelosi, and Louis Medina. And then there were four. And we have Sandy Alomar Jr., another big name from this time frame. Now, Ozzy Canseco shows up. And Ozzy Smith, Johnny Ray, Eck, Wade Boggs, another pretty awesome pack. Seitzer running for dear life. Strawberry, Paul Kilgus, looking rather dorky as well. And this once hot card, Sandy Alomar Jr., rookie. The final three.
We have Rolando, rookie, in this pack. John Crook, Browning, Bergman, and Petrolli. There's another Oral Hertzheiser. Gary Carter, Ozzy Virgil, Zane Smith, and his hideous antics. You get again. And Rolando ends that pack. Two remain. Frank Viola and his crustache starts things off. Doug Sisk, a couple repeats here. His second year. Matt Williams looking kind of pissed off. Rob Murphy, Harold Baines' portrait. There's that John Moses again. I told you. <laughs> There's no escaping that card ever. Robin Younts, Dennis Cook rookie shows up. What a freaking legend Dennis Cook is. Not as good as his 90s River Deck, the back of the card, the most one of the most iconic cards of all time. And Ron Robinson looking dorky as freaking ever to end that pack. One remains. Can it be another Griffey? That does not appear to be so. Greg Jeffries rookie. Instead, it shows up. I guess most of Greg Jeffries true rookies are in 88. There's a Kevin Elster, another big name from this time. Nolan Ryan portrait shows up now. Jeff Treadway. Hanky, Sean Dunstan. And there is the Greg Jeffries. Another hot card from that era. So there you have it. 12 packs of high series from 1989 for deck. You can typically get those packs for between 10 and 20 bucks, roughly. I've seen them for all three prices, 10, 15, 20 dollars. But for a chance to pull. One of these super iconic cards, Ken Griffey Jr. Absolutely awesome. So, Mikey G, congrats to you for winning that card. And thank you again to 444 for making this rip possible via Riddle. And thank you guys all for watching. Please drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. And uh, I will hopefully see you back tomorrow night.